Hey guys, this is the Bombay Chef Varun Amdar. Welcome to Get Curried and let's begin Chinese sizzler. Like we all know, a sizzler is made up of several components. Let's begin with the first one, which is egg fried rice. I'm heating a wok on high flame and adding in some oil. As soon as the oil in the wok heats up, the first thing that I would be adding in is ginger garlic and green chili which is crushed. After 10 to 12 seconds, I'll be adding in some diced vegetables, in this case some cabbage, carrots and french beans. Move the vegetables on the sides of the pan, create a little bit of a space and add in a teaspoon of oil again. Now this oil is to cook the beaten egg. Just move it around the pan a little. And once the egg is 3 fourth cooked, I'll toss the egg and vegetables together. At this stage, I'll be adding in long grain rice, which is 3 fourth cooked. I'll be adding in a little bit of dark soya sauce, along with a teaspoon of Shezwan sauce. Finally, a little bit of salt, some cracked fresh pepper. A quick few tosses and your egg fried rice is ready. Let's transfer this in a plate and let's move on to making chicken hakka noodles. For this, I'm taking oil in the same wok. Once the oil in the wok heats up, I'll add in the vegetables, capsicum, carrot, cabbage, which is red and green in this case, and some spring greens. A quick toss. Once these vegetables are tossed on high flame for 30 to 40 seconds, I'll add in pre-boiled noodles. Soya sauce. A little bit of chili sauce. Season this with a little bit of salt. And finally, pieces of chicken. Now this could be boiled cube chicken or this could be the lollipop that you would make for the sizzler, which is now deboned and converted into fine cubes. While a quick toss and allow this to smoke on high flame for at least 30 to 40 seconds more and your chicken noodles are ready. Let's move on to the side vegetables which are soya and butter vegetables. Turning the flame on again and adding a dollop of butter. While this is just beginning to melt, I'll toss in some pre-blanched vegetables. In this case, carrots, beans, cauliflower and broccoli. To this, I'm adding in just a touch of soya sauce and a quick toss. While I have used these vegetables, you're also free to use vegetables of your choice. Zucchinis, baby corns, mushrooms, whatever you feel like. Well, finally, just a little bit of cracked pepper. Let's also simultaneously heat the iron pan, which is also known as the sizzler plate. The vegetables are ready and move on to the main component of the sizzler which is the lollipop shezwan gravy adding in just a touch of oil while the oil is heated up the first thing that goes in is some onion and capsicum I've just sliced them lengthwise a quick stir fry and lower the flame to add in shezwan sauce immediately I'll add in some water and give this a stir while the gravy is just beginning to bubble, I'll add in some chicken lollipops. The recipe of this is there in the description box below. Do not forget to check the link. Well, for the sizzler, most of the components can be made in advance and kept. All we need to do is preheat, reheat the sauce and serve it. Allow this to boil on high flame for a minimum of a minute so that the gravy kind of reaches the center of the lollipop, which is very important. We need to allow this gravy to boil on high flame for at least a minute. While that's happening, let's quickly make a cornstarch slurry. For this, I've taken some corn flour and adding in some water. Give this a mix to ensure that there are no lumps. Only once the gravy begins to boil on a high flame, we need to add in the cornstarch slurry. A stir and allow the cornstarch now to cook for a minimum of 30 seconds. Our Shezwan lollipop gravy is ready. One final ingredient which is some spring onions. With this, let's exchange our burners 
I'm getting the sizzle plate here. Let's build up the sizzler. I'm going to line it first with some cabbage leaves. I'm using red cabbage so that the color is nice and bright. The first component is our egg fried rice. The next is placing our chicken noodles, soya and butter vegetables. Once the sizzler is partially plated, let's move on to creating the crown of the sizzler, which is a half fried egg. For that, let's heat a fry pan along with some oil. Once the oil heats up, I'll add in an egg and season this with a little bit of salt and pepper. Time to place the fried egg on top of the rice. Transfer the sizzler plate on top of the wooden block. The chicken lollipop. Well, you could choose to serve two or three per portion. And finally, the Shezwan gravy. Last but not the least, some fried noodles. With this, the Oriental Sizzler is ready. I understand the recipe is lengthy, but the first bite and you all going to love it. Do not forget to like and share the video, subscribe to Get Curried and wait for what next the Bombay chef gets into your kitchen.